Hi everybody and welcome back to another Sheer Smokes and you join me on a beautiful September's afternoon. And I'm here at the River Allen, which is in Bridge of Allen, which is the, uh, the area where I was born. And uh, it's a really nice spot this one. I've had a few cigars down this way and um, on a day like today it's uh, it's a perfect spot to come down and uh, enjoy a bowl or two. So in my last video um, I spoke about uh, Boyd and I heading off to the Linlithgow uh, festival party at the palace and uh, what a great weekend we had typical festival weather uh, there were some dry spells some uh, torrential rain showers and uh, dry spells again afterwards uh, but it was a great weekend a uh, great family event uh, which Boyd really enjoyed and uh, the bands that were on stage I have to say were on top form uh, we had performers such as OMD headlined on the Sunday night on the Saturday it was Shed 7 one of my favourite bands I've seen lucky enough to see in a couple of times uh, we had the Happy Mondays uh, a blast from the past we had Sister Sledge we had an amazing uh, Blondie tribute band uh, called Dirty Harry uh, who were just amazing and uh, GBX our uh, Scottish DJ uh, did a, a really good set as well with some proper old school tunes um, so here's a few highlights uh, just to give you a flavour of what it was all about So a great time was had and uh, as you can tell by the ponchos we were um, ready for whatever weather Scotland decided to throw at us um, but we did have a few dry spells as I said and uh, in those spells I was able to enjoy uh, a rather nice cigar but today it's all about a nice bowl by the river and the bowl in question is of course my Savinelli cocktail with the fishtail stem uh, this is the 613 and uh, I think I'm right in saying I believe this was the very first pipe that I bought myself um, after experimenting with cobs and uh, it's still uh, still one of my, my favourites to bring out and about 
Um, but it's just, uh, I just love that rusticated finish and uh, it's very comfortable to to hold and um, and to smoke with, it smokes really well. And in the bowl, I have the old Black Magic from Watch City. Uh, this of course came from my good friend Gary. And talking of Gary, um, I'll be speaking to Gary later on this afternoon. We have a video call lined up for uh, tea time, uh, UK time. So uh, Gary, when you catch up with this video, we've already had our call. Um, so I shall just pop in and now. Uh, it was great chatting to you and uh, look forward to seeing you in person in the next few weeks. So yeah, the uh, forecast for the week is good uh, as it just turns out I'm back to work tomorrow and that's me working right through uh, until Saturday night and then Sunday morning I'm heading off uh, for a couple of days uh, with uh, two good friends of mine. Um, destination uh, I shall keep to myself just now and uh, I shall uh, surprise you with a, a live video uh, once we reach there. Um, it's a place I've not been before, I've always fancied going, um, so I jumped at the chance when, uh, when that chance arose, so very much looking forward to, to heading out there and uh, seeing what it's all about and uh, sharing what I find with you. So I will be packing uh, the trusty pipe with me and hopefully pick up a few cigars as well. Um, so yeah, we should, uh, we'll catch up with that. Uh, once I get back. But as I said today, um, the weather is supposed to be great for the next three, four days. Uh, it was a nice day yesterday. Uh, today has been the best so far. And um, yeah, it's just nice to, to come down by the river. And uh, I'll give you a little look of uh, what the uh, further down the river looks like. <laughs> Nice views of the River Arm, and the River Arm it flows down into the River Forth, and um, just the exact same way the River Devon does, which I've uh, featured in quite a few videos now. And uh, Bridge of Allen itself is uh, quite an interesting town. Uh, back in Victorian times, it was known as a spa town, uh, mainly because the Victorians believed in the healing powers of the waters that came from the River Arm just behind me. And one of its most famous visitors was, of course, Robert Louis Stevenson who visited the town quite a few times and used to stay in one of the boarding houses. And he would take uh, daily strolls along the river. And uh, in one of my older videos, which you'll find in the back catalogue uh, down by the river, um, there's a cave that uh, Stevenson used to stop and do some notes. And seemingly this is the uh, influence for Treasure Island. Uh, but Robert Louis Stevenson came uh, and stayed here quite a few times as he was brought here as a child uh, with his parents and continued that into his adult life. So, um, but yeah, it's a nice, uh, it's a nice town to come and visit, it's right on the outskirts of Stirling, so really close to the castle, Wallace Monument, and uh, a good gateway to head further north to Perth and onwards up to Inverness. So it's, uh, it's still a bustling little town but hasn't changed um, too much thankfully. Uh, a lot of the original buildings um, still in place which is always good to see. Uh, yeah, so uh, I'm going to sit here now and uh, just chill for a little while, enjoy the, the sunshine while I can and uh, then it's time to head home, catch up with Gary online uh, and then pack my bags as I'm back to work tomorrow and I'm there right through till Saturday as I said and then Sunday uh, I head off until uh, Wednesday night so uh, more of that in my uh, next video uh, but until then as always thank you very much for tuning in uh, always great to have you along um, I hope you're all having a, a great week and uh, enjoy the upcoming weekend and until the next time as always my name's Shearer. Enjoy your smokes.